All right, what's up young makers? Um, welcome to part two of our Metabang Paint Pro tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking a little bit about um, brushes and drawing and coloring and layers. So um, I got a blank canvas here. So let's talk about the brush palette. Um, so select your brush tool and then we're gonna pick whatever color we wanna draw with. I'm gonna pick this little pink here. Um, okay, so down here is where you have all your types of brushes and they each look a little bit different and can have different effects. So um, we're gonna play with a couple of them right here so you can see what they do. Some of these are really pretty cool. Um, it's really a matter of sort of playing with the brushes to find out what you want um, depending on, you know, the kind of drawing that you do, the kind of look that you want for your drawing. Um, underneath here, where it says br brush control, is uh, where you can select your brush size and the opacity. And opacity is just how um, transparent you want it to be. So if you just wanted like a hint of color, you could lower the opacity and then draw and you see how it's, it's kind of faint there. Um, so you know, you can, you can kind of see like how if you raise the opacity to 100, you can see like the difference um, between them. So if you want to change your brush size, you can use this sliding bar right here to adjust the size, or you can hop over here to your brush size panel and select preset sizes for your brush um, if you don't want to bother with this, this sliding scale thing. Now you can also move your, um, your palettes around. So if you'd rather have your brush size over here with your brush panel, then, you know, if that makes more sense to you, that's fine. I tend to keep mine over here because I am right-handed and it's just easier for me to just tap whatever size I need. So if you want, you can just play with a bunch of these brushes. Um, you've also got some options down here where you can like adjust specific features if you just want to see how these all change what you're doing. So yeah, a lot of these do some really cool stuff if you just want to go in there and just have at it. Okay, so now that I've talked a little bit about the brush options that you have, um, let's talk about layers. So for this, I have uh, my drawing that I've done. Um, it's basically just line art at this point. So I want to keep the line art separate from the colors in this drawing. Um, it just makes it easier to keep the line art intact and using layers separates different parts of the drawing. So you can make layers however you want and call them whatever you want, but when coloring drawings of people, I like to have different layers for the hair, skin, and clothes. So we're gonna do that real quick. Right, there we go and then we can double click the layers and rename them so first we want to move the line art layer to the top so that it shows over all of the coloring that we do but see if you select one of our color layers and then draw you can't see anything right so um, if you hide the line art layer though, you can see that something did happen when we drew. So you don't want all that. Um, in order to see the line art and the layers underneath, we're going to change the blending mode of the line art layer to multiply. And what that does is make the white space transparent but it keeps the line art solid. So if we color on one of our layers, you can still see the line, art, the line art on top of it. So we're gonna add some color to each layer here. So his hair is pink. Um, this is one of my D&D characters, by the way. So we'll just throw some pink on there. And um, I'm not gonna color the whole thing here, but I just wanna show you guys how layers work. So let's see, his clothes are like a navy blue. Uh, he's got a green bow right here. 
and uh, make sure you guys are on the right layer when you're coloring that happens so much where you're coloring on the wrong layer by accident let's see so uh, he, he hates the Sun a little bit so <laughs> he's pale so we'll do that for his skin um, and I usually color the eyes in with the skin layer since I'm working on the face anyway so we'll do that there we go and um, so now he's he's holding a plague mask here because he's a doctor and when it comes to like accessories um, I'll put them on their own layer so we'll make a plague mask layer here and it's gonna be really dark gray all right so there's there's that so if you go to the layers panel and hide and show each layer you can see that the colors are all on their own layers so if later um, I were to decide that you should have like purple hair or whatever um, I only need to mess with the hair layer without having to worry about doing anything to any of the other layers so all right so that's it for our um, layers and brush tutorial for Metabang Paint Pro. All right, so that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.